I don't like this. Not one bit. Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Fallout 4 and I'm going to be showing you another unique weapon today as well as kind of a cool secret underground base for uh, those of you who do not want to create your own mega mansion like I did or just create a house in general. A really cool underground base uh, for those of you who want to know that. Also, just if you want to use a uh, cool underground um, a base as like a second home or whatever. But it's here at University Point. Uh, there's Jamaica Plain. Here's the castle in comparison uh, to all of this stuff, as well as the fish packing, um, Gwinnett, the Gwinnett restaurant and brewery. I still need to go clear those, uh, so maybe I'll clear those and let you guys know if I find anything. Fallon's department store. Um, there's the Pridwin and the airport, uh, and so I hope that kind of helps you get an idea of where this is. Uh, but first of all, you're going to need a decent chunk of things. Uh, that's why I'm not showing you in the video, but you will need to access this terminal, uh, which is, I believe, it... actually, I have no idea what it is. Something, my brain's telling me it's novice, but I think it was harder than that. Then you'll get into here. This is the, um, uh, what you call it? This is the, the, what, I forget what it's called. You're inside, like, the vault. There, it's it's like the uh, university vault or something like that. It has a name similar to that. Uh, but then you'll get down here and you'll go ahead and open up this security gate, and then you'll go ahead and open up this terminal to open or use the terminal to open up this vault door. Once again, you will need at least advanced, I think, maybe expert um, hacking. And then once you get in here, you will need master lockpick. Uh, there will be one closed here. This, I believe this is the master one. This is just like an expert. And then over here is the one you're going to want to open. This will be closed. And it is a master lock. When you open it up, there will be a button here. Go ahead and hit the button. And it will reveal this kind of hidden base right here. Uh, so it's a really cool base. Um, it's got some sleeping bags so you can sleep here. Uh, you can't like craft or do anything like that. But it, it does come set with a chemistry station already and a weapons workbench. I don't think there's an armor workbench down here, but there is some outside, so if you really need one, you can. Uh, but this is a really cool area, in my opinion. Um, I might actually set up a base here just because. Maybe I'll show you guys that later, but you can set this up as a pretty cool base. Um, it, it is really cool. It's really cool where it is and how it's kind of in a secret place. Uh, and so here is the special weapon. You'll find all these fusion cells around it, but is the prototype UP77 Limitless Damn. Potential. So go ahead and pick it up. It does 24 damage, uh, base damage, I guess, because it doesn't come with anything on it. Uh, 50 fire rate, uh, 71 range, 75 accuracy. Uh, it has unlimited ammo capacity. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that is. We'll throw it on here in a second. Let me pick up all these fusion cells that I don't need because I have a crap ton of fusion cells. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw this bad boy on. Where is it? Here we go. So, oh, okay, I get it. You don't ever have to reload this weapon. That's what I thought it was, but I wasn't entirely sure. But you can see 999 ammo, zero, ca or zero um, fusion cells to reload. It just means you can literally just sit here and fire this thing forever you never have to le reload uh, it's actually a pretty cool weapon i might actually start using this uh, but some of the different stuffs you can throw onto it i probably will throw on the overcharge to get it up to 42 damage um, and then i'll probably throw on the sniper barrel uh, just to get it the um the the more damage as well as range it drops the accuracy but that's kind of minimal um, you could use the, well, I'll probably use the improved sniper barrel because that upgrades it even more. Uh, the full stock, I would probably suggest the recoil compensated or the sharpshooter. Probably the sharpshooter stock is the one that I'll roll with because it does increase the damage. Um, so probably roll sh sharpshooter's grip. Um, and then for the sights, this is really all just opinion on what sights you want. I'll probably just roll reflex or improved sights. Uh, because I don't like a scope, really. And then muzzle, uh, there are a decent chunk of different muzzles that do work out actually pretty well, so that's kind of up to you. But that's kind of the upgrades that you can throw on this thing. Uh, it is a really good laser rifle, maybe the, one of the best in the game, just simply because you never have to reload. And uh, you can get it up to a pretty high damage. And then keep in mind that in my skill chart, 
that I don't have a lot of the weapon improving damage um, perks yet, like Rifleman and stuff like that. I have put two into Gunslinger because I am using the Deliverer, but I may start using this rifle once I have it all modded out. So, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out my skill tree. Um, I didn't do the glitch where you could get max... Um, uh, max special. I don't know if that glitch still works, but I just decided not to do it. Um, it does save you a lot of time because I have put a couple, not a ton, but I put a couple of different into here. I think I put one into strength. Uh, I think I put one into charisma and I think I put one into intelligence and one into agility maybe. But uh, that's how you get the prototype UP77 Limitless Potential, which is actually a pretty cool name, and how you unlock this kind of cool secret base. Um, I definitely um, may start using this as something uh, just a little bit different, but it is cool. You can then come up here, push this button and the door secret door will close uh, but that is going to do it for this video guys i hope you all enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in my next one peace out